Good morning everybody, welcome to Donay Mott Leisure. My name's Adam and today I've got something special for you. We've got an Auto Trail F62. It's a two litre, 130 brake horsepower, automatic. It's just a really compact motorhome. It's just under six metres, 5.99, but we've still got four traveling and four sleeping. Um, so it's absolutely perfect if you don't want anything too big, but you still want to be able to travel with uh, your extra passengers and sleep with them as well. Um, so let's go around the vehicle, have a look what we've got. You've got the black cab. We've got your electrical hookup point there. Um, we have your water fill point and your water drain underneath. Gas lock in here, he says. Room for two bottles in there, so you can use one and carry one as a spare. And then your toilet cassette lives just in there as well. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle, you've got the reverse camera up there, which is built into your dashboard on the big screen, and you've got fittings for a bike rack if you wanted to add one. Um, nice and easy to attach on too, so you don't have to do too much to it. Round on the passenger side, at the top you'll notice we've got the full length Dometic awning. We've got an awning light up there as well. We do have some external storage as well. So you've got a storage locker in there. If you've got any compact chairs or barbecue or anything like that, still plenty of room to get that in. Talking of barbecues, you've got a barbecue point there. So you don't need to take your gas bottles off from the other side, just hook straight up to here and it'll use the gas from your bottles. Electrical entrance step, more storage. This is underneath your front bench, which we'll see inside. You've got your toolkit and everything in there as well. And your fuel point is just there. So let's have a look on the inside. But before we do, we've got your auto trail umbrella. You won't need that very often. It doesn't rain very often in this country, but it is there if you do need it. We've got fly screen, bin, and blinds all on the door for you. So I'll let Wendy jump in and we'll get down towards the cab. So in the cab, you've noticed we've got the big screen and um, that couples with your reverse camera as well. You've got sat nav, um, it's the automatic gearbox. We've got your cab air conditioning, your power points, all your steering wheel controls on there as well. Electric mirrors. So a nice fully loaded cab. Both your seats in the front do swivel around, so they're both captain's chairs. It's covered just over 7,000 miles as well. Um, into your lounge area, you've got your extra traveling seats here. Belts are just behind at the minute because it's set up as the lounge. If you did want to travel, all you have to do is remove this piece out and you've got the room to put your legs down. And you've got your two traveling seats there. Um, and this does make up into a double bed as well, which only the sales team can demonstrate for you. Plenty more storage, plenty of locker space all the way around. And we've got a TV point just here with your TV aerial point there as well. I'll dem the other bed is above us, it's electric drop down bed, I'll demonstrate that in a minute once we've finished showing you the rest of the van. Round into the kitchen area, so we've got a three ring gas hob, we've got a generous sink, lots of work surface space as well, bearing in mind we are in a van which is just under six metres, there's plenty of work surface. Your freestanding table's in there, we've got more storage under there, and same underneath the sink we've got pull out drawer as well and storage in there we've got your oven and grill and underneath more storage and you've got your gas isolation valves in there as well we've got a full size fridge freezer freezer compartment in there for Richard's fish fingers get all your beer and wine everything in there more storage in there and then at the top you've got your main control panel, really, really simple. You've got the control panel for your whale heating, which is your blowing air heating. And this is the operation for your electric bed, which I'll show you in a second. We have the bathroom, we've got toilet, we've got your sink, more storage to the left of the sink and underneath the sink as well. And we have a full size separate shower cubicle. I'll go in there so you can see it is full size. I'm six foot tall, so in nice and comfortably, plenty of headroom, mm -hmm. and it is separate from your toilet as well. And then we've got two big wardrobes. So the minute this has got you, this is what you use to make up your bed. You've got your max view, which is part of your TV aerial, and we've got what have we got here? We've got your cab blinds in there, so they're just to clip onto the front um, to give you privacy at night. Your solar controller is on the other side. We do have a solar panel on the roof as well. And we've got more storage underneath. Um, so the electric bed is really easy to use. You've got your control panel over here. Just turn the key yeah. so it's on. 
Okay. And then I'm not going to send it all the way down because we've still got the cushions and everything else, but just press the button and it comes straight down like so. I won't send it too far down, like I said, because we've got all this set up still. Um, you've got your ladder on there, you've got your safety nets. If you do have any children or anyone else up there, maximum load 200 kilos, it does say on there. And the beauty with this is you can leave the bed made up, take your pillows off, but if you've got a thin duvet and your mattress um, cover on there and everything, you can leave it made up. And then when you get up in the morning, just send it back up and it's out of the way. So we've got two sleeping at the top, two sleeping underneath to give you the four in total. And we've got four traveling seat belts as well. And there we go, back up, simple as that. So it's just arrived with us here at the showground in Hilton. My name's Adam, I'm part of the sales team. If you've got any questions, or would like to come see the vehicle, please give me a call or any of the team, we're more than happy to help you. Um, so come on, get down and have a look at it. Thank you.